No BS intros. No montages. No cars. This is not a racing game. It's all about basketball. That's how we do this on Two Brothers Gaming, and that's how I'm bringing it to you on this Sports Commentator's March Madness. You're getting four minutes of energy. Let's go. It's NBA 2K13, my team, and I'm all about picking up Josh Smith right now. I needed more athleticism at the power forward position, and he's paying off for me right away. But my teammates are doing real good, playing that good defense, but my opponent isn't going to lay down. He's got Dwight Howard. He's got Ray Allen. He's got Josh Smith. He's got a bunch of great all-around players that are here to make life hard on me as I head into the fifth seed in my team. But you know what? Good defense leads to good offense. I'm getting out on this fast break, and you know Iggy's throwing that down. That's what it's all about, man. I love getting on the fast break. That's my strategy in my team mode, and especially when I'm playing teams that have those three-point trolls. You know all about those. If I play a three-point trolling team, I'm running out on the break. I'm also finding my teammates for open shots. What do you know about that JaVel McGee jump shot? He might be the derpiest player in the league, but he gets his when he gets a chance, man. That's what it's all about. Again, I'm using that Thunder playbook. What do the Thunder do in real life? They use their athleticism, and they get out on the break. This dude needs a timeout here in a minute, man. It's 1918. We're not doing too bad, but he needed to collect his thoughts. He had Rondo in there, too. And he's got Ray, J.J. Redick out there trying to troll some threes. But you know what? If you close out on him, you can get that fast break and you can get things going. I love catching the defense off guard. He almost picked up a steal. But you know what? How's it taste? Kyle Korver just got the lemons, man. He was like, I got ball. I got ball right in his mouth. Josh Smith goes on a three-point shooting rampage. Just tearing it up for you guys in this sports commentator's March Madness. He can't be stopped. I scored 10 points in two minutes with Josh Smith. I have no idea other than the fact that he's an athletic freak and he nailed a couple of threes how I was able to do that, but I'm not complaining either. I still got to get in there and play that good defense, though. Dwight Howard's getting to the rack. I got to grab the rebounds, though. I've got to got to make sure that they're one and done here in my team mode, and I'm just looking for the advantage. Right there, he didn't close out on Russell Westbrook. Even with a bad release, I'm popping Jays. You know that's what we do. I can't be looking where I throw him if I know where it's going. You know what I'm saying? But Josh Smith can't get that hook shot from Dwight Howard. I don't know what that's all about, but we're cutting. We're moving without the ball, and that give-and-go button is gold. The immortal Patty Mills makes an appearance for the easy layup. Right there, I just dropped the pass over to Iguodala, literally. But you know what? Once you get ahead of steam, it's over, man. He got the lemons straight up. Once again, that Josh Smith couldn't play defense, so I don't know what the deal is. But after that three-point play, I feel pretty confident. We pretty much put this game away. And after this, it was all about maintaining that rebounding edge, playing that good defense, and closing out on the shooters right here. J.J. Redick is trying to troll those threes. And at this point, he's getting desperate. He sees that scoreboard. I probably shouldn't have made those long passes or done any of that stuff. You know, at this point, I needed to calm down, take it back out. It was a dumb shot on my part, but I got that rebound. That's what I got McGee in there for, is for the offensive and defensive rebounding, that good athleticism, that good defense. But uh, I'm trying to take up time here, trying to make things happen for everybody. He gets a reach-in call, and he's messing around with his settings and just just pausing. I don't know what he was thinking, but I almost had a double-double with Josh Smith. You saw that right there. His time actually ran out, and I was a good sport. I said, all right, you know what? Maybe he had to go to the bathroom. Maybe he had to grab a movie. Maybe he had to do something with his spare time, figure out how to play some defense. Whatever he was doing, it wasn't working for him. He let the clock run out again. And then he paused and came back into the game and quit. So, hey, good sportsmanship? Maybe not, but we got a My Team victory. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching My Team. It's funny how a 40 time can make or break your career. Before the 40, there were so many question marks. Can he run between the tackles? Can he hold on to the ball? Can he even make it as an NFL running back? After the 40 yard dash, I won the best running backs in the 2008 draft. 1,200 yards later, I'm an elite running back. It's funny how a 40 yard dash can make or break your career. Coming up next, the Tennessee Titans are taking on the Seattle Seahawks at home. Justice Lee! Justice Lee! What's going on, y'all? It's your boy TDK, and I'm bike with the regular online match. 
I got my same sorry ass Seahawks. This Jack boy got the uh, Tennessee Titans. Normally, I don't like to play against lower ranking teams like that, just because, man. If I feel if I lose to one of these lower ranking teams, I'm gonna feel like a, such an asshole. And then another reason why I don't like to play against lower ranking teams is because simple fact: when niggas lose, man, they stay bitching over dumb shit. Like they come out like the weakest fucking excuses. Oh, you know, I didn't have the right playbook, or oh, I was lagging, or or EA this man get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. But that's why I don't like to play. Lower ranking teams, and you will see in this game why I don't like to play people who play with low ranking teams because they stay on some fuck shit, man. They just always stay doing dumb shit. And I mean, 99.9 of .9, damn near everybody on this man shit is fucking thirsty as fuck and nice users on deck. Fuck, nigga. Trying to press my dude at the line. You can't press bait, you asshole. Meantime, if you didn't know, and nice computer interception. I should have had users on deck, but it is what it is. Y'all know how it is. If EA Sports don't get credit, nobody gets the credit. EA Sports just ain't shit like that, you know. So I keep it all the way live with y'all motherfuckers. If you didn't know, I am the 15th seed in this March Madness shit. You know what I'm saying? I am representing Justice League to the fullest. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't seen my channel. My channel is just about, you know what I'm saying, just keeping it real, keeping it trill with myself. You know, I don't really talk about gameplay just because, I mean, for me, I, I don't see a point in talking to, about gameplay. You know, I, to me, that's just me. For me, you're watching the gameplay. Why the fuck would you want to hear me talk about it? You know what I'm saying? Like, for me, I just like to talk about shit that goes on real shit, trill shit, and get your fuck ass styled on fuck, nigga. Man, I had to hit the, I had to hit the rewind on this dude, man. I rewind it and then back in the air. Look at that. Just styled on this fuck, nigga. Just shitting on his whole life, man. You know what I'm saying? Coming up, you will see why I don't like to play low ranking teams. Like, look at this shit. This fucking nigga just sitting here on some dumb shit. Just dicking around on the game, man. So right here, I'm about to send him a message. If you haven't, if you've never seen my channel, I love to piss people off. That's what I love doing. I love kicking people's asses on this game and pissing them off. Because they be doing dumb shit all the time. They be doing that bullshit onside kicks, swib kicks. Uh, trying to block your kick. And just all around fuck shit. And as you can see, this fuck boy over here tried to... I don't know what he was trying to do, honestly. I don't know if he was trying to DC glitch me. I don't know if he was trying to IP boot me. But he one of them thirsty ass fuck niggas, man. Who just come up with excuses on some dumb shit. So if you don't know, if you never seen my channel, I send a message. If you play like an asshole, I'm going to let you know you're playing like an asshole. My objective... Playing this game is to beat you in it and then be an asshole at the end of the game and talk shit. You see it. I sent the message. He sends me one back and I end up blocking his ass. I'm the king of this blocking shit. I love blocking niggas. That's what I do. You see it. He sends some weak ass messages. I let him know you's a fuck nigga. That simple. That easy. Get me a win and I get to block a nigga. What more can I say? It's your boy TDK. I'm out.